Hello, Spicy family. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am so excited today. It's beautiful Sunday. It's really nice in Georgia, guys. And I just did my collaboration uh, yesterday on the 28th Saturday, guys. It was so amazing. You guys should go check out the collaborations. Check out everybody's channels. They are absolutely amazing. Check them out. But anyhow, today on this uh, day, we're going to be making some meatloaf, guys. Some very simple, easy, easy meatloaf that I am going to be putting in my Drew Barrymore crock pot. Today, I feel like cooking's slow cooking today. You know, I'm being a bum. I've been really working hard at uh, on my video. I've been working hard on a lot of things. And I just want to let the meat cook itself in the Drew Barrymore crock pot. So guys, I got me some ketchup here. I got me some barbecue sauce. I got those breadcrumbs I just showed you. I got some lemon pepper here. I got some garlic powder here. And I have a little bit of a seal right here, guys. And I'm just gonna be using a little bit of a Worcestershire sauce, okay? I got my vegetables here. I'm gonna cut these up so we can saute them, so we can put them inside of our meatloaf. Yes, we're just gonna make this real simple. Simple. So let's get right into the video, guys. Holla at your girl, smooches, smooches. Okay, spicy family, I'm gonna cut up my bell peppers. I'm just gonna do them really, really small because I want them to go into my meatloaf and I don't want them to be super thick. So, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna cut those up. Really small here. So we're gonna do that to the uh, red and the orange, okay? Stay tuned, spicy family. Okay guys, we got our vegetables all cut up, our onions and bell peppers and jalapeno. Guys, we're getting ready to saute these and get them nice and tender so that we can put them in our meat loaf, our ground beef, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, let's add in some olive oil to our skillet here, guys. Just a little bit so we can saute these vegetables right on up. So we're just gonna toss them all in there, just like that. Get them going. Just like that. Okay, guys, we're gonna give that a stir there. Don't you hate when you think you got something in your cabinet and you just know you have it there and you're at the store and you're going, oh, I already got that, oh, I already got that. But I don't have any tomato paste, but the show must go on. We're gonna just go ahead and finish, cook this meatloaf without the tomato paste. It's gonna be still just fabulous. Stay tuned. Okay, spicy family, we have our ground beef in here. This is 2.25 pounds of ground beef. So that's what's gonna amount for this meatloaf dish, okay? Okay guys, let's add in some stuff. Let's add in our breadcrumbs. Put as much as you like, okay? I'm gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce. Guys, we're gonna season this to taste, okay? You guys put how much you want in there. There's no um, hard way about it, you know? So we're gonna put some of this a seal in here, seasoning. Okay, we got that. We're gonna use a little bit of this garlic powder right here. Then we're gonna use some lemon pepper. I'm gonna add in two eggs. We're gonna add in some barbecue sauce. Okay. Okay, let's add in some ketchup. Okay, and now let's mix it all in. Put your gloves on, do what you gotta do. Get messy. And at this point, like, I'll just know if I need more breadcrumbs. If it's not feeling the texture that I want, I'll add more breadcrumbs in this, guys. Or I'll add more barbecue sauce or ketchup, whichever, you know. Stay tuned. 
Okay guys, you just wanna kinda of just move the meat around. You really don't wanna pack it down too tight because you want it to be able to uh, not be compacted, smushed when you put it in your dish, in your cooking utensil. And we're gonna be using that um, crock pot today, the slow cooker, we're gonna cook this in. So I add a little more, a little more uh, breadcrumbs and I add a little bit more Worcestershire sauce and I added a little bit more of ketchup. But look at that. Looks good, looks good. And now all we're waiting for is, look at those seasonings, is our vegetables. So stay tuned. Okay guys, our vegetables are coming right along there. They're looking delicious. They're just about ready. We have our um, crock pot ready right here, guys. We're gonna set our meatloaf in this here. Ground beef already seasoned up. We got it going on, guys. Okay, let's add our vegetables. They look so good. Just gonna add them in there just like that while they're hot, guys. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix them all in, okay? Get them all incorporated in there, okay? Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get ready to put it into our beautiful, beautiful uh, Drew Barrymore crock pot. And then we're just gonna let it I'm not gonna put any oil in here because you know ground beef produces its own oil, uh, water or liquid or whatever, but we're not gonna put any oil in that. We're just gonna let it cook just like that, slow cooker. Um, we'll see what degrees we're gonna put it on. Stay tuned. I'm just gonna place my meat in there, guys, and then I'll mold it once I get it in there. So I'm just gonna get it all in here first, and then I'm gonna mold it right in there. Okay, we have it all in there, so I'm just going to mold it like it is a meatloaf inside of this crock pot. You know how you put it in the oven, so we're just going to shape it really nice in here. Okay, guys, this is how we got it in there. Mold it really nice. Oops, I stuck my finger in it. Got it molded really nice, and we're just going to let this cook um, on slow cooker. And then um, I'm going to let it go for what? I don't know, about couple hours for right now just to see all right stay tuned guys don't forget to comment like share subscribe to my channel guys I'm telling you I had such an absolutely amazing time doing that collaboration thank you thank you to all of the people who came over and watched the video I truly appreciate you guys you're absolutely amazing and thank you to miss Sandy and to miss Sylvia and to every each and every one of the collaborators so stay tuned okay guys I let I decided to put it on four hours for um, four what am I talking about four hours on high guys because you know you know the crock pots cook different so it's, now it's going down some there it is now it's going down the high I mean on uh, 353 okay so stay tuned I'll check it you know every hour stay tuned okay spicy family we literally have 55 minutes on this I literally forgot to come check it but I'm fixing to check it right now Woo. goodness 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 oh my goodness stay tuned Okay, guys, I had to drain some of the oil off of it. You know, that hamburger just soaks it out. So it looks really good. Only right here, it just kind of caved in a little bit. It's really, I mean, I mean, it still needs to cook some. So now I'm just going to let it cook the rest of the way without the top on it. It feels really good. Oh, my God, guys, this is going to be so freaking moist. So I'm going to put some um, barbecue sauce on top and uh, some a little bit of ketchup so that it just cooks right in. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, we have our barbecue sauce and a little bit of ketchup on top of there with some chopped chives. And I'm just going to go ahead and let it. It's still kind of, I can tell it's still kind of not cooked all the way because, you know, this is a slow cooker. And it cooks different in this crock pot as opposed to in the conventional oven because, you know, the oven heats like 
totally different. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook. I'm going to turn it back on for about another hour. And uh, we're going to go from there. So stay tuned, spicy family. Smells delicious. I'm telling you, it smells so good. Mm -mm. Okay, spicy family, take a look, take a look. I let it cook for an hour with the top off and it looks amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Just to dry out some of that oils that were, you know, getting trapped in with the top. And then, you know, the hamburger meat just makes a lot of grease, a lot of oils and grease. So I had to drain it first, then take the top off and let it cook for another hour. So now I'm just gonna let it rest and sit and then we'll get to cutting it up and tasting it and everything like that. So all in all, it cooked for five hours, four hours with the lid on, four hours with this lid on, one hour with the lid off, drained off the fat, the grease, and um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, spicy family, I have cut the meatloaf. We're getting ready to just take us a scoop out of here. So let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. So I have one hand, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, take a look at that meatloaf. OMG, that is cooked in the Drew Barrymore crock pot, guys. It looks so delicious, and guys, it is so creamy. I'm telling you, it tastes like butter. But look at that there. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Right out of the crock pot. Mm, 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 mm. Stay tuned while I take a light. Stay tuned. Okay, spicy family, look at all the flavors in this meat loaf. Can you see it, guys? Oh my goodness. It just looks so delicious and so good, guys. And I'm just gonna take a bite, a piece out of this right here. Mm, 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 mm. Just like butter. But uh, you could put more barbecue sauce on here, guys. Do what you want. Mmm. Look at that. Focus. Look at that there. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. 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 Guys, you talking about some creamy? Oh my God. I don't know what to do with myself. It's so delicious. Guys, it's so good. Oh my God. I was going to plate this with some green beans, but I said that's okay because I'm going to eat this all. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Guys, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. This meatloaf was cooked in the crock pot, slow cooker, for about uh, five hours. So, on high. So, four hours with the top on and drain the grease out. Because I'm telling you, it's a, it's a different kind of cook. And then, one hour with the top off. And then let it rest. But look, it looks so delicious. Thank you for stopping by. Smooches!